Hey there, fellow soil enthusiasts! If you've been following along on the Soil Sage Chronicles journey, you know that nothing breaks a gardener's heart quite like watching your prized tomatoes and cucumbers succumb to fungal diseases. I've been there, standing in my garden at dawn, coffee in hand, staring at leaves that were once vibrant green, now spotted with the telltale signs of blight or powdery mildew. But here's the thing, nature has provided us with incredible allies in this fight. And today I'm sharing the natural supplements that have transformed my garden from a fungal battlefield into a thriving oasis. Before we dive into solutions, let's understand what we're dealing with. Cucumbers and tomatoes are particularly susceptible to fungal diseases because they love the same conditions that fungi thrive in, warm temperatures and high humidity. These pathogens are opportunistic, waiting for the perfect moment when plant defenses are down or environmental conditions are just right. Common culprits include powdery mildew, which creates that distinctive white powdery coating on leaves, downy mildew that causes yellow patches and fuzzy growth, and various blights that can devastate entire crops seemingly overnight. The key to winning this battle isn't just treatment, it's building your plant's natural immunity from the ground up. One of the most revolutionary discoveries in my gardening journey has been the incredible power of beneficial microorganisms. Think of these tiny allies as your plant's personal security team, working around the clock to protect against harmful pathogens. Trichoderma species are absolute game changers in fungal disease prevention. These beneficial fungi colonize plant roots and create a protective barrier that harmful fungi simply cannot penetrate. When you introduce trichoderma to your soil through natural supplements, you're essentially giving your plants a biological shield. I've seen cucumber plants that would typically show powdery mildew symptoms by mid-July remain completely clean through the entire growing season after consistent trichoderma applications. Bacillus subtilis is another powerhouse that deserves a place in every serious gardener's arsenal. This beneficial bacterium produces natural antifungal compounds that actively suppress disease-causing organisms. What I love about Bacillus subtilis is its versatility. It works both as a soil amendment and a foliar spray, adapting to wherever your plants need protection most. Mother Nature has been perfecting antifungal compounds for millions of years, and we can tap into this ancient wisdom through targeted natural extracts. Neem oil has been my go-to foliar treatment for years, but understanding how to use it properly makes all the difference. The active compound in neem oil, azadiractin, doesn't just kill existing fungal spores, it disrupts their reproductive cycle, preventing future generations from establishing. When applying neem oil, timing is everything. Early morning or late evening applications prevent leaf burn while maximizing absorption. I mix neem oil with a small amount of liquid soap to improve adherence and coverage, creating a protective film that lasts through several rain cycles. Garlic extract might seem like something from your grandmother's old wives' tales, but modern research has validated its potent antifungal properties. The sulfur compounds in garlic are particularly effective against powdery mildew and various bacterial diseases. Creating your own garlic extract is simple. Blend fresh garlic cloves with water, strain, and dilute for application. The beauty of garlic extract is its systemic action. Plants actually absorb and transport these protective compounds throughout their tissues. Just like humans need proper nutrition to maintain strong immune systems, plants require specific minerals to mount effective defenses against fungal attacks. Silicon supplementation has become one of my secret weapons in disease prevention. When plants absorb silicon, they incorporate it into their cell walls, creating a physical barrier that's incredibly difficult for fungal pathogens to penetrate. This isn't just theoretical. Under a microscope, you can actually see the difference in cell wall thickness between silicon supplemented plants and those without. 
Diatomaceous earth is an excellent natural source of bioavailable silicon that can be mixed into soil or applied as a foliar spray. Calcium plays a crucial role in cell wall integrity and overall plant health. Deficient plants develop soft, vulnerable tissues that invite fungal invasion. Organic calcium supplements like bone meal or calcium carbonate not only strengthen plant structure but also improve soil pH balance, creating conditions that favor beneficial microorganisms over harmful pathogens. The most successful fungal disease prevention comes from combining multiple natural approaches rather than relying on any single solution. I've developed what I call the layered defense approach that has virtually eliminated fungal diseases in my cucumber and tomato crops. Start with soil health. Incorporate beneficial microorganisms early in the season even before planting. Follow up with regular applications of natural extracts like neem oil and garlic, alternating between them to prevent pathogen resistance. Supplement this biological and chemical defense with proper cultural practices. Adequate spacing for air circulation, drip irrigation instead of overhead watering, and strategic mulching all work synergistically with your natural supplements to create an environment where beneficial organisms thrive and harmful ones struggle. Timing your natural supplement applications can mean the difference between success and disappointment. Prevention is always more effective than treatment, so begin your program early in the season when plants are establishing their root systems. For soil amendments containing beneficial microorganisms, apply during transplanting or direct seeding when root activity is high. These organisms need time to establish colonies and form protective relationships with your plants. Foliar applications of natural extracts work best when applied preventively every 10 to 14 days, increasing frequency during periods of high humidity or temperature stress when fungal pressure is greatest. Weather conditions significantly impact application effectiveness. Avoid applying foliar treatments during the heat of the day or immediately before rain. The ideal application window is early morning when leaves are dry but humidity is still moderate, allowing for optimal absorption without leaf burn. The journey from fungal-plagued crops to thriving, disease-resistant plants doesn't happen overnight, but with consistent application of these natural supplements, you'll begin seeing results within the first growing season. Remember, we're not just treating symptoms, we're building resilient plant communities that can defend themselves naturally. Your cucumbers and tomatoes are counting on you to provide them with the tools they need to thrive. These natural supplements aren't just alternatives to chemical treatments, they're superior solutions that work with nature's own systems to create lasting protection. Ready to transform your garden into a fungal disease-free paradise? Hit that subscribe button to join our growing community of soil-savvy gardeners, and don't forget to share this video with fellow gardeners who are ready to embrace nature's own protection system. Together, we're cultivating not just better gardens, but a deeper understanding of the incredible partnerships that make sustainable growing possible. I've crafted an engaging comprehensive article tailored specifically for your Soil Sage Chronicles YouTube channel. The piece takes a personal conversational approach that speaks directly to fellow gardeners while providing deep, actionable insights about natural fungal disease prevention. The article covers the essential natural supplements that truly work, beneficial microorganisms like Trichoderma and Bacillus subtilis, natural extracts like neem oil and garlic, and crucial mineral supplements like silicon and calcium. I've structured it with clear subheadings and focused on practical application rather than theoretical knowledge. The tone maintains that personal experienced gardener voice throughout, sharing real insights about timing, application techniques, and integrated strategies that your audience will find immediately useful. The content works for both beginners who need foundational understanding and experienced gardeners looking for advanced techniques. The conclusion includes your requested call to action for subscriptions and shares, positioning your channel as a community for soil-savvy gardeners. 
This evergreen content will serve your audience well across multiple growing seasons.